Hi guys, I'm ready for our chair circuit. That doesn't mean sitting on this. Um, it does in fact mean uh, using it as a tool to help us a little bit. Uh, you could use uh, the bottom steps of stairs, just be careful of course. You could use the edge of the settee, don't fall asleep on it in between sessions, um, but something along those lines. Grab one now. If you're using one of the ones from an office uh, with the little rolly bits, please make sure you lock them walking off uh, the side of uh, your workout. Quite funny, a little bit dangerous, okay? I wanna get you guys warmed up a little bit first. Uh, we're gonna start off with a little bit of mobilizing. So in this particular case, uh, I'm having my feet uh, reasonably still. I'm gonna roll my shoulders back. It's starting to mobilize the joints across the shoulder. And we're gonna do this, but work our way down our body as well. Then we're gonna raise our heart rate a little bit before we do the main bit. So all the shoulders one way, roll them back the other. feel any clunkiness across your shoulders, uh, then you probably just do slightly smaller circles. We're going to go for a hip rotation. Hands onto your hips is not compulsory, but you can. So a hip rotation to loosen off the hip joints here. Again, feet are staying still, it's hip rotation one way and the other. Known among some of my friends as uh, stirring the custard, I'll leave that one to you. And we're going to look to open up the joints at the knee in a slightly different way. We're going to do our open gates. So knee comes up to the side and back down. If you're finding balance a problem, well, you've probably got a chair right next to you. So you could always bring the chair in and help you. So knee up to the side and back down, and back down. Again, your range of motion depends on the flexibility of your hips. And this time we're going to do the shut gate where we bring the leg in. So leg comes out to the side, bring it back in again. Try and engage that core to retain balance, or of course, hold onto the chair if you wish. One more each leg. Okay, presume we've got enough room around us. Move into a little bit of a tiny jog on the spot. This is nothing silly. Uh, if you're finding it uncomfortable on your way, then you could always do a walk on the spot, so we're lifting our heels and our knees a little bit. All we're gonna do is get the heart rate moving just a small amount. And from here, side step out, hands down and back again. Little jog, step back out and lunge down. A couple more. Hands can be moving if you want to pretend we're doing a bit of a, a Mo Farah and a London Marathon, that's absolutely fine. Down. Little jog on the spot. If you want to increase the uh, speed a little bit, increase the heart rate a bit higher, it's fine. Lunge down. Two more each side. And down, keep them going. Keep your head up, keep your shoulders back. Arms can move if you feel like. One more aside. And last one. Give a little sprint if you feel like, and back down. Okay, so the main session is we're gonna do an upper, lower, middle uh, workout. We're gonna do our tricep dips, muscles on the back of the arm. We're going to go into a calf raise, so the muscles down here on the back of the lower leg, a box crunch for our stomach, and then we're gonna go back to upper body where they push up, easy and hard version. I'll show you both. A split squat, um, which is gonna be for our quads, our hamstrings and our glutes, and also a chair plank. I'm gonna run through them first. Please watch what we're doing. Have a go at them as well, or that will add to your workout. Once we've done them, we're going to go into one minute on each one, the whole way through, quick water break, and repeat. So a tricep dip, muscles on the back of the arm. Make sure your chair is nice and stable, particularly if you chose one of the ones with, uh, with rolly wheels. Um, hands just behind, legs out straight, roll the shoulders back. From here, we're dropping our uh, bottom down towards the floor and back up. If you want to make it any uh, easier, which is absolutely fine, particularly as you'll probably find after a minute or so in, is bring your feet closer towards you, same again. You can make it harder still. If you have a second chair in front of you, you could put your feet up onto the chair and that would make it harder as well. Onto the calf raise. I'm turning this round just for the sake of showing to you. From here, use it for a bit of stability. Um, both feet at the same time, go up onto your toes, give an extra squeeze at the top and sink back down again. So it's quite a controlled motion. If you're finding it very easy, you could go to one leg on one leg at a time, but most people find up onto their uh, uh, toes, extra squeeze and back down again. If you were using the steps in your house, obviously be careful, but you could also sink your heel down a little bit lower and make it easier. 
Still joining in with these, please. We're on to the box crunch. Standard stomach exercise. Feet up onto the, um, the chair, puts our legs into a right angle position. And as we've done before, hands onto knees is easiest. Hands onto your chest, it's a little bit harder. I hope you're joining in with these or will act as your warm up. Uh, and also um, make sure you know you're happy with technique. Hands back here is a little harder still. And hands here is harder again. Don't be afraid of making it easier or harder as we're going through the routine. Not a problem at all. So upper, lower, middle, we're going into a push-up. Easier version, using the chair as our friend on this particular case. Normal push-up position, body nice and straight, almost planked. Drop down, push back up. We're keeping our elbows tucked in. If you want to make it harder and you're feeling like a bit of a challenge, that's your bit of a push-up beast, you're going to put your feet up onto here into the plank position again. I prefer it on my knuckles. Drop down and back up. Try and keep your body as a plank as you're going. Elbows tucked in again. Okay, the harder version. A split squat. If you have any problems with these, with your balance, one means hold on to something at the side. We're gonna do one leg first time around, other the other time. If you struggle with it, you can just go back to a regular squat. So in this case, one foot forward, one foot up onto the chair, and from there, just get yourself into your balance. We're squatting down and back up. So right to have a little bit of a balance. It's probably easier on a solid floor than it is on mats. If you have like a yoga mat you're using in front of or anything like that, you can always nudge out the way if you feel like. Find one we're gonna do is a chair plank. Again, easy and harder version, or easier and harder. So the chair plank on your elbows, and into the same position. In this case, our elbows are pretty much directly below our shoulders. Tense your glutes and you're fine. If you want to make it a bit harder, get your feet up nice and high. Aim for that um, straight position again, onto your elbows and hold. It's a nice static one this, probably starts off quite comfortable, gets harder. Okay, so we're gonna go for one minute of each. Don't be afraid of changing your positions as you're going along. I will definitely be changing my position as I'm going along um, to encourage you to do the same as you need. Make it work for you, it's your workout. One minute each one, get yourself into your tricep position. And we go. So I'm starting off with the harder position. Tricep dips the muscles on the back of the arm. If anyone out there is thinking they might have bingo wings, um, that's the muscle or the area around uh, the tricep. If anyone wants slightly bigger or more toned arms, these muscles come into play as well here. Don't forget, if that one's finding a bit difficult for you, legs come into here and you're dropping your uh, hips and your glutes down to the floor. So these are the muscles on the back of the upper arm. Keep my back nice and close to the, uh, the chair. Keep them going. You'll probably find that aching a little bit this stage. It's fine. They're getting a rest in, the, in a moment or two. So keep them going. If you need to rest at any stage, you can just use a chair, give your arms a little rest, and you can go again. Keep them moving. Almost there. Almost. Fantastic. Good work, folks. Well done. I'm moving the chair around to make it convenient. Straight into our calf raises. Up onto your tiptoes, sink back down. When you get to the top, give it that extra squeeze. It's the extra squeeze that will really make it um, feel beneficial. Keep them going. This is one of those exercises that sometimes slow them down and have an extra squeeze at the top makes a real difference. Keep them going there. Keep moving. They're probably even harder if you're using the bottom of a stair because you can sink your heel down further and it, it makes a longer range of motion even harder. Keep them going. Keep working on them. We're picking up for time, but as we get to the end, we move on to the next body part. So we've done some upper. This is our lower. We're working on to the middle part next, ready for our box crunch. Keep working through. Almost there. Superb work. Okay, move the chair around, straight into a box crunch. Feet up. Legs at right angles. Standard position from here. 
Choose the one that works for you. If you find this is difficult, make it just that little bit easier. You can put your hands onto your knees, push up beyond them. It's a controlled, reasonably short range of motion. Here is our standard one. If you're finding that too comfy, hands further back or further back still. Keep them moving, doing really well. It's not unusual to find a little bit of a, uh, a tightening, a discomfort going on in the stomach. As long as it's controlled discomfort, that's fine. Doing really well, folks. Getting towards the end of this one. We'll move back to the upper body. Keep them going. Fantastic. Next upper body one is push-up. Let's go into the standard one first of all. Uh, I'll change into the hard one after if we need. Get your body as a plank, drop down, and push back up. If you're finding this one difficult still, you can actually drop down to your knees and push off from here as well. Make sure you're keeping those elbows tucked in. So the push-up is again getting the muscles in the back of the arm, the tricep, but also the chest muscles in the front of the shoulder. If you're wanting that harder version, from there as well, just dropping down and back up. Keep your body as a plank still. Keep them going, we're getting close on time. Okay, onto our split squat. Get yourself nicely balanced. Remember which leg you're doing first. Foot goes up onto there. Sink the back knee down towards the ground and back up again. Okay, it's not really a lunge forward. It's a single squat. If you're doing this at home, don't be afraid of perhaps holding onto a table. More for balance. Keep them going. Body should be pretty much upright. You might find yourself leaning forward as you start getting tired. If you need to, hands out for support. You'll probably feel it starting to burn on the front leg. Keep them going, your last little bit, almost there. Okay, last one is our chair plank. I'm gonna start with the easier position. Choose the one that's suitable for you. Body totally straight, elbows on the side. Hopefully you've got a nice comfy chair. Think about engaging your core here. So we're tightening our core, pulling our stomach in, squeezing our glutes together. If you want to make that just a little bit harder, let's spin it round. Feet up onto there, elbows remain under our shoulders. Glutes should be uh, tight, core engaged. Keep holding that position, keep the breathing. Time's ticking on, you're almost there. Okay, that's the end of first lap. We are gonna do a second one. Take a glance to take some water for a moment. Stretch your legs if you need. Some like the quad stretch or, or one for the back of the shoulder if it helps you. Well placed prop. Okay, <clears throat> so tricep dip again. Considering your muscles will be fatigued from last time, they better be. Choose the one that works for you. Okay, so go again. I'll start with the full one as the reminder. Technique again, keeping my back nice and close to the chair. Keep looking forward. The time always appears to go slower on the second lap. If you need to, bring your arms in. As your legs in, sorry. Means there's less weight going onto your arms, makes it a little bit easier. If you need that little rest, don't forget what we said. 
You know, I say step onto there, relax your arms and go again. It's your workout, make it work for you. Coming to the last little bit. Okay, calf raises. Again, just turning the chair so you can see. Stand nice and upright. You can hold on to a wall if you're close to one, if I prefer. If you're doing this with someone from your family, then why not just simply hold on to them and work together with each other. Nice range of motion. Up onto our toes. Sink back down. Can you get an extra squeeze at the top? This is time when you can probably get your breathing under control. If you're finding it quite easy, get that extra squeeze. If you're finding it quite difficult, that's absolutely fine as well. Keep it going, folks. We're almost there. We're going to do two laps of this. If you're finding you've got time, hit the repeat button, go again. Keep it going. Last little bit on this, folks. Okay, box crunch, turning back round to its normal position. Remember what you did last time? So we showed you and demonstrated his arms across your chest. It's a standard crunch. Keep the little gap between your neck, um, also your chin and your neck. Make it harder if required. Make it easier if required. Hardest one is hands behind our head, of course. Keep it going, working well. Three exercises to go after this. Unless you hit repeat, of course, which is also fine. Keep them going. The last little couple of pushes. Fantastic. Uh, onto your push up. Again, the easier version, hands up high. How difficult this is will depend how high your chair is. If you're doing this off the edge of your dinner table, then you'll probably find it's really quite easy. So that's our standard one we're doing. If you wanted to make it easier, go onto your knees. Keep those elbows tucked in. You're doing well, folks. You're getting there, almost there. We'll give our upper body a rest in just one second and we'll bring our legs back into play. So don't forget, our standard one for today is this one. Elbows tucked in. Get in there, folks, the last little bit. Take a rest if you need. You can give your arms a stretch and go again. Get that body in a plank. Fantastic. Now try to remember which leg we used last time. He says, sink ourselves down. So it's more of a squat of the front leg rather than the lunge forward. Disadvantage of a plasticky chair, your foot moves around a bit. If you're using a regular chair at home, perhaps it's a bit more comfy for you. Hands out if you need the balance. Hold on to a table if needed. Keep it going. Should be a good overload going on this front leg here. Doing well. We're getting that on to the last little bit, folks. Keep pushing, well done, folks. Last one, chair plank again. Elbows on the side. Get yourself nice and straight and hold it. This was our standard position. Try and keep your hips uh, level. So we're in this nice sort of ski slope um, position. Think about pulling in your stomach, tightening your glutes. You can put your feet a little bit wider apart if you need more stability. Elbows are pretty much straight under our shoulder. This is your last exercise. Think about your breathing.
Keep it going. Don't forget feet on the chair instead if you want it just a little bit harder. Keep it going, folks. You're into the last little bit of it. Think about pulling in your stomach. Well done, folks. Okay, workout done. A couple of little stretches because some of the muscles who work today are typically the ones that can relieve to DOMS the next day. Delayed onset muscle soreness, microscopic tears, that's fine, but let's control them, please. Tricep stretch, hand up in the air, drop it down behind your head, hold onto the elbow, give a little bit of a pull towards you. Stand still or have a little wiggle around. Just keep looking forward. Usually 10 to 15 seconds. Same on the other side, drop it down behind. Depends on the mobility of your shoulders, will depend exactly how high this is, but we should be getting this pretty much vertical and pulled across to your head. So that's your tricep. We have brought in the chest as well. This is only a very basic cool down stretch. Hands behind our back, squeeze the elbows together. And this is stretching the muscles here across the front of the chest and the front of the shoulder. Again, any exercise standing up, we're probably having our feet about hip width apart, just a little bit soft. Very last one. This is where your chair can come in, particularly if you're a little bit tired. Quad stretch, so standing stretch for our quads. Grab hold of a foot, where shoelaces pull back. Keep your knees nice and close together. Keep looking forward. This here is just for balance. If you've ever done this amongst your sports teams in the past or an exercise class, this is where you see people jumping around all over the place. Quite funny, it doesn't always help them for their stretches. Other leg, just moving around so you can see. Hold on to the laces, pull back. Hips are pushed forward a little bit. Head nice and upright, keep looking forward. Now, if you found that exercise quite easy today, easy, hit it, repeat, do it again. Not a problem at all. Bear in mind the easier and harder versions, the challenge is all yours. Well done, folks.